Hi, my name's Sam. I'm one of the podiatrists here at Walsh Podiatry. Over the next few videos, I'm going to be talking to you all about why good fit and shoe is so important. Today's video is going to be looking at why good fit and shoe is so important at preventing foot problems. A massive part of the job we do here is to solve the problems that our patients come in with. However, although it's important to solve these problems, we also want to look at preventing them. Now, a good fit in shoe can be crucial at doing this. If you're not wearing a shoe that's got enough support, maybe it's a slip on, maybe it's too high, maybe it's too flat. What this can do is this can put strain on soft tissues inside your foot, muscles and tendons and ligaments. Now, when these are under strain, other muscles and tendons and ligaments have to work harder in order to give your foot the right amount of support. Now, over time, this compensation can lead to pain. Sometimes it is easily solved by just making a few adaptions to your footwear. Um, usually it can be as easy as wearing a shoe that's a little bit lower, a little bit higher, or simply a shoe with a lace or a strap across it. Sometimes, despite these footwear changes, you might find that you're still getting some biomechanical issues. In that case, we would always recommend that you come in and have a biomechanical assessment with us, which will allow us to assess the range of motion in your joints. We can watch you walk and we can see if maybe there might be something else causing your problems. Now, over time, our feet actually can change shape. They might become wider. They might even be a little bit longer. Now, this happens when the muscles and tendons and ligaments that help support our arch are overused and overworked. What happens is they, they don't work as well. So actually, your foot appears to become longer. Bunions and bony deformities can also change the shape of your foot, which again may, may make it wider. Now, when and if these changes happen, it's important to adapt to your footwear to accommodate these changes. If you don't, then that's going to cause pressure and that can lead to foot problems. The most common kind of foot problems we see from not wearing appropriate um, foot, footwear um, where it's not accommodated, a wide foot is horns and calluses. Now, if you're wearing a shoe that's too narrow, you can see if I use my hand here, if this is our foot and we are wearing a shoe that is too narrow, what's going to happen is it's going to squeeze those toes together. Now you can see there's not much room there between my toes. So what's going to happen is the joints that are in between these toes are going to press and rub together. And that pressure can lead to callus and painful corns. Similarly, if you have a bony deformity like a hammer toe or a claw toe, and you're wearing a shoe that is too shallow, what can happen is you can put pressure on the top of that toe. There is no other pressure that touches the tops of our toes. So if you have hammer toes or claw toes and you're noticing hard skin or corns, it's footwear that's causing it and you need a deeper shoe in order to accommodate that deformity. Now a main part of our job is obviously to remove this hard skin and to remove these corns. But a bigger part of that is to look at the, at the bigger picture and to look at your footwear and see if any changes can be made and to educate our patients on the types of footwear they should be wearing. It's easy to look at a catalogue or see shoes in a shop and think they're suitable. Um, and sometimes they are, but other times it's small changes that just need to be made in order to make those, feet, uh, those shoes more suitable for your feet. So I hope you found this beneficial. And if you think any of the things I've mentioned sound familiar and you think you may benefit from seeing one of us, um, you can book in to see us. You just give us a call on 01217496313 and we can book you in to see one of our team. Thanks for listening. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.